What's up guys? Welcome back to the Poker Vlog. This is episode number 25. For this episode, Andrew, Nimi, and I teamed up and we started a few 2-5 games at the Mirage. Uh, we put some tweets out and we did a live stream the night before to kind of get the word out that we were going to do this. We ended up getting about three or four tables, which is awesome. Thanks to everybody who came out. The goal was just to kind of hang out with people who watched the episodes and have some drinks, play some poker, and have a good time. So we definitely accomplished that. I think Andrew and I started playing poker at like 7.30 at night, and we weren't done hanging out with people until about 5.30 in the morning. Uh, so that was probably the most fun I've had playing poker in a really long time. I hope you guys enjoy the episode, and let's go ahead and get into it. I show up to the poker room and Andrew's already taken down pots at his table. Hi, dude. Hi, Brad. How's it going? It's going good. How are you? Good. I say hi to some people and then start a second game. One last thing before we get into the hands is that everyone you'll see in the vlog gave their consent to be on camera. Okay, time for some actual poker. Within the first few orbits, I pick up Queen Jack offsuit in the small blind, aka the Andrew Nimi hand. The button raised to 15, no way I'm not going to 3-bet this one, especially with the man, the myth, the legend, only a few feet away from me, that'd just be insulting. I make it 50, and it folds through, I take it down. Now I've got pocket jacks in the big blind, the cutoff opens to 15, the small blind 3-bets to 55 with a relatively short stack at 275, I've got the 4th best hand of all time and I don't mind getting it in with the short stack, so I make it 200. It folds around, and I win another one pre-flop. About a half hour later, I get pocket queens on the button. A player in middle position limps in. The player to his left raises to 30. It folds to me, and I 3-bet to 100. The limper folds, and the initial pre-flop raiser makes the call. We go heads up to the flop. The dealer puts out 10-7 deuce with two diamonds. The opponent checks. I don't know much about the player, but given the action pre-flop, I put him on hands like ace-king, ace-queen, and maybe pocket nines, tens, or jacks. Against this range, I don't need to bet too big. I put out 80. This gives him a chance to call with some ace-high hands, and also gives him some rope to get out of line. He now raises to 305. The only hand he's really repping that has me beat is a set of tens and that's certainly possible. You can also have flush draws and air though too. I'm not gonna re-raise because if he has me beat, then I'd be getting it in bad, and if he's bluffing, he'll fold. I just call to keep his bluffs in, and the turn comes out, it's an eight. At this point, my buddy Sean saw that a big pot was brewing and decided to take some camera footage for me. I'm the lanky guy in the middle there. Here's my opponent. He looks a little bit perplexed, and then he checks. The action is now on me, the pot is over 800, and I only have 655 left in my stack. I feel like I probably have the best hand, so I go all in. My opponent now tanks for quite a while, and I start recording from my point of view. You can see he looks like he wants to fold, but seems to have a tough decision. I figure he probably has a flush draw, or maybe something like pocket jacks. To my surprise, he throws in some chips and makes the call, I'm hoping for a brick on the river, but instead it's the queen of hearts, so I make top set. This was a huge pot. Initially my opponent said that he had a 10 and thought I was on a flush draw. Then later he said he didn't actually have a 10, but had queen 8 and just thought I was bluffing. So not really sure what to believe, just happy to get the double up. Now it's time for a little update and to check in with Andrew's table. It's tough to hear, so I apologize for that in advance. Here we are at the Mirage, Shane and I. We got, they're all the same as your fans. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here's, uh, here's Andrew's table, my table's over here. We got four 
four two five games going here at the Mirage. So a lot of success. We'll uh, definitely be doing something similar to this in the future. I'd say. They want to come play with you. I think they want to play with the guy who got 373 in the glasses. A few seconds later, Andrew puts in some additional money blind. What do we have? We got the $15. Oh, we got the 15 This here, is going to be. Here, get this in your box. Let's okay. see what we got here. The big blind shows me 5 3 offsuit, a few players call, and our buddy with 5 3 offsuit makes it 90. Andrew shows us king six offsuit and makes a giant mistake by folding. It's a clear three bet for value. Andrew was way ahead of his range. Anytime someone says, here, get this on your vlog, they never have it. If you don't believe me, I think it's somewhere near the front of Mike Caro's book of poker tells, available on Amazon. The rest of the table also folds. What do, you, what do you think? Should we show or should we, we show? Should we, we let it? Show. We show them. All right, all right. Oh! <laughs> So everyone was having a great time, people were doing some goofy things, and plenty of drinks were being served. Look at this guy, he's never had more fun in his life, I don't think. Now back to some poker, I look down at King 10 of Hearts in the hijack, it's a straddle pot, I raised a 35, the button calls, and the big blind calls as well, so we go three ways to the flop, the dealer puts out Ace Queen Jack Rainbow, so it could have been worse, the big blind checks, I bet 55, the button folds, it's now back on the big blind, and he puts out a raise to 295. This is a big raise, it's five and a half times the size of my bet. Given the fact that he didn't three bet pre-flop, it's hard to put him on a big pair that might have made a set. He might have two pair, but most often he's just gonna have the same hand as me. I thought about flatting, and then if the board pairs, I can wrap a boat and shove and get him to fold if he does have the same hand as me. Instead, I just, didn't slow play it, I raised to 700. He jammed for about 1700 total. I call, it's a massive pot over three and a half K. He says he has the nuts and rolls over king 10 of clubs. So he was free rolling with the backdoor flush draw. Luckily, it was a clean run out for me and we chop it up. Andrew and I decided to switch seats so that we could play with as many people as possible. But before leaving, I get the table a round of Washington apple shots. We take those, then I head over to the other table, up about 1,000 on the night. In the first interesting hand I get over there, I have Ace, King, and Diamonds in the hijack. A player in middle position opens to 15. Our buddy who made the play earlier with 5-3 offsuit, three bets here to 50. I put in the four bet to 120. It folds around and the three better says that he had 6-4. I realized that it wasn't fair that I bought the other table around of shots and not this one, so we had some Red Bull and Jaeger delivered. Oh look, there's Ryan Frechette, another poker vlogger. He was playing with us the whole night and hung out really late. Very cool guy. Be sure to check out his channel if you haven't yet. Now it's almost midnight and we were planning on heading to the bar at about that time, but before picking up, I get Ace King offsuit in the cutoff. One player limps in, then our buddy who raised with the 5-3 offsuit earlier, raises here to 25. Generally, I'd three bet, but I know this guy's a little wild. He'd been opening light, and he's been bluffing a lot post flop too. I figured if I three bet, there's a good chance he'd just fold, and if I make a hand, it'll be well disguised, so I just go ahead and call. It folds back to the limper, who also calls, so we go three ways to the flop. The flop comes out, it's ace, nine, eight, rainbow. To my surprise, both players check, I put out a small bet of 35. The player in middle position folds while the initial preflop raiser makes the call. The turn comes out, it's another eight. The opponent checks. I don't get the feeling he's too strong and I've got a hand I only plan on getting two streets of value from, so I go ahead and check back. Before the river comes out, the player bets 50 in the dark. The dealer then puts out a six. I've under my hand so far and don't believe that he'd bet so small in the dark with a hand that's better than mine so I raised to 150. Now my hand makes absolutely no sense from his perspective unless I have something like 7-5 for a rivered straight. In hindsight, I probably should have bet way bigger. Anyway, he tanks for a while, then makes the call and has ace-queen. He was at the top of his range pre-flop and probably would have called a three bet, so I might have been able to make some more money if I played my standard strategy, 
but I did okay this way too. That was it for the poker session. I won almost 1300. Time to cash out and head over to the bar. Just finished our game here at the Mirage. We had a good time. Everyone oh, yeah. had a great time. Back there. Jaeger bomb. I think everyone had fun. We were up all night talking, having drinks with everybody. These guys were nice enough to buy me a beer. And then Michael on the right there got third in a Planet Hollywood event two days later for 20K. So congratulations to him. Check Race Charles joined us at the end. The sun came up, and then it was time for us to head home. That's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. I want to give a big thanks to everybody who came out to play with Andrew and I. That was awesome. It was a ton of fun. And I want to give a big thanks to the Mirage also for being so accommodating uh, to Andrew and me and everybody else who showed up. That was, that was super cool. And we're definitely going to be doing it again, hopefully maybe two or three times a month. Um, if you're interested in playing with us, then you can follow Andrew and I on Twitter or look out for a live stream. One last announcement is that we got the site offthefelt.com up and running. It's a poker group or poker forum site where people are sharing hands or talking about other uh, poker related stuff. It's really cool. We've got over 100 members. I'm, I'm really surprised at how many people have uh, checked it out and become members already. It's, I'm super excited about it. So thanks to everybody who signed up. If you haven't yet checked it out, then I'll have a link down below in the description box. You just go to offthefelt.com, click on the join the conversation button, fill in uh, some information, should take about a minute or two minutes. Um, it's absolutely free. Then you click on the forum section and from there you, you can uh, share your hand or comment on someone else's post. I'm also going to be announcing when and where Andrew and I are going to be hosting the next game in the other topics section. So definitely check it out, and uh, I guess that's it. Hope you're all doing well, and good luck at the tables.